welcome to my podcast. This is episode four of season two of Everyday Living Recipes with Love podcast. I'm so glad you're here with me today. So good morning. And um, it's finally fall. So I'm super excited for the weather. Cool out, but not snowy out yet. I have, let's see, some pretty interesting recipes. Most of them are chicken today. Um, the first one is with ground beef, though, and it has a very unique name. <laughs> it's called Company's Coming. And I have no name to, like, credit this, but that was a good name that you picked out, whoever you are. Um. If I could credit people for these, I'd really love to because I just feel like I'm stealing their awesomeness, but I'm just sharing. So that is the first one. And it's kind of like a noodles. It has noodles in it and ground beef. And I've never even heard of this yet. So bear with me. But that's the first one we'll start with. And then we are going to... Um, oh, I think two of them actually have ground beef in them, and then the rest are chicken. So two ground beef recipes are first, and then we are going to do four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four chicken recipes afterwards. I know some people don't like ground beef, and some people don't like chicken, but they're both good in their own ways. Um, I do like chicken, but certain ways it's cooked. I like it grilled. Um, it gives it a really good flavor. So, And in the crock pot, it actually brings some more tenderness to it, and I really like it that way too. Um, but yeah, other than that, I have to have it cooked those two ways probably to like chicken. Um, ground beef I like in certain things, but certain things I don't. I'm sure everybody has their things that they don't like. But this first one is going to be Companies Coming. Love the name. Um, You're going to need one package of noodles, one jar of ragu spaghetti sauce with mushrooms. But I'm sure you could, like, pick whatever one you like. They're just saying with mushrooms. And you could probably do anything with it. I have never tried. Sorry, I had to take a drink of my coffee. It's been a long morning. Um, I've never tried ragu sauce. Um, I may have tried their Alfredo before, but we're really picky on our spaghetti sauces um, because of the, you know, chunkiness that can, you know, onions and all the chunky tomatoes sometimes in them, but I definitely would not like the one with the mushrooms. I'm sure you could pick any kind of spaghetti sauce to make this dish your own. So one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, one small carton of cottage cheese, one cup of sour cream, two to three cups of mozzarella cheese shredded, one cup of cheddar cheese shredded. Cook noodles, put cooked noodles in a greased 9 by 13 inch pan. Brown ground beef, drain off grease. I don't know if you'd have any grease though. It's lean, (laughs) but I guess it's saying if it does. You're going to add the spaghetti sauce, simmer, mix cottage cheese and sour cream together and spread over top of noodles. Top with spaghetti sauce and beef. Mix cheeses together and sprinkle, sprinkle over the top. Bake at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour, but let stand a few minutes before serving. Cuts well for serving. I don't know what that means. I'm trying to think what that means. Cuts well for serving. Anyway, um, it must just mean when it's ready to. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so. You know, this really reminds me of like a lasagna, kind of, um, a little bit, because it just says noodles, and you can pick whatever noodles, but the cottage cheese and the 
sour cream and the mozzarella cheese and the spaghetti sauce. It kind of reminds me of a, like a different lasagna. So it sounds like you could like make it your own and pick any noodles, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to read through it one more time and then we're going to move on to our next ground beef recipe. Company's coming the second time around. Hold on, I need a drink. I'm sorry if you could hear me swallow my coffee on there, but so company's coming. You need one package of noodles, one jar of ragu spaghetti sauce with mushrooms. You could use whatever. One and a half pounds of lean ground beef, one small carton of cottage cheese, one cup of sour cream, two to three cups of mozzarella cheese shredded, one cup of cheddar cheese shredded. Then you're going to cook the noodles. Put cooked noodles in a greased 9 by 13 inch pan. Brown the ground beef and drain off grease if there's any. Add spaghetti sauce and simmer. You mix the cottage cheese and sour cream together. And you spread over the top of the noodles. Top with spaghetti sauce and beef. Mix cheeses together and sprinkle over the top. You bake this at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. But you let it stand before serving. I think I know what it means now. So you let it stand before serving so it cuts well for serving. Okay? So that's the company is coming. Now the next one I have never had but I've heard of. It is called the Mexican Skillet Spaghetti. Has anybody ever tried? Sorry, that was my coffee cup. Has anybody ever tried a Mexican Skillet? Like a Mexican spaghetti I guess I have never I don't think I'll ever have the guts to try it but some people out there would um now that I'm kind of reading through it it might be okay because the only thing I see that I wouldn't like is the onion but I always thought it would have like more chunky stuff in it because usually Mex Mexican stuff like does it has peppers and chunky tomatoes and stuff like that but now that I'm reading this I think I might even make this because you could take the onion out I thought it would have more like peppers or stuff to add for flavor but it doesn't this recipe actually might be the first one I've seen with a Mexican spaghetti that I might make so that is exciting for me so for this Mexican skillet spaghetti you need one pound of ground beef four to three four, four three-fourths cup, four three-fourths cup of water, one 15-ounce can of tomato sauce, two one and one-fourth ounces packages of taco mix, eight-ounce uncooked spaghetti, onion, half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of cheese shredded. It must be whatever cheese you want to put on there. I probably would pick like a Mexican cheese or like the Monterey Jack's really good on Mexican stuff, I think. In a 12-inch skillet or a larger brown or larger brown ground beef, add remaining ingredients. Bring mixture to a boil, add spaghetti, reduce heat, simmer, uncovered until spaghetti is tender. Stirring frequently about 25 to 30 minutes, sprinkle with cheese. I will have to try this one, guys. I'm so excited. I actually found one that I wouldn't mind trying. I thought there was more to it. But you just, it's basically just taco seasoning with tomato sauce. And it actually sounds pretty good. So I will repeat that one more time. And then we're going to move on to our first chicken one of this episode. Our first chicken recipe. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Mexican skillet spaghetti. One pound of ground beef. Four three fourths cup of water, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, two one and fourth ounce packages of taco mix, eight ounce uncooked spaghetti, onion, half teaspoon of salt, half a cup of cheese shredded. In a 12 inch skillet, 12 inch skillet or larger, brown ground beef, add remaining ingredients. Bring mixture to a boil. Add spaghetti. Reduce heat. Simmer. Uncovered until spaghetti is tender. 
you stir frequently for about 25 to 30 minutes and you sprinkle it with the cheese of your choice. So that sounds super good, guys. Um, I just can't believe it. I actually found one I like. And the next one, I gotta find my chicken. Um, chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, the next one is going to be, which sounds super good. Sorry if you couldn't hear me there for a minute. Um, it's a breaded ranch chicken. I love ranch, uh, the ranch seasoning packets. And I think this is what you're going to put on it, but I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> and then you're going, excuse me, then you're going to use cornflakes. So it looks really good. And that's our first chicken one. It's called breaded ranch chicken. You need three-fourths a cup of cornflakes crushed, one envelope of ranch salad dressing. I think that's what I like. It's like I think it's like the seasoning pack, right? Eight boneless, skinless chicken breasts, eight of them, three-fourths a cup of Parmesan cheese grated, and a half a cup of butter or margarine melted. In a shallow bowl, combine cornflakes, cheese, and salad dressing mix. Dip chicken in butter and roll in cornflake mixture to coat. Place in a greased 13 by 9 inch dish. Bake uncovered at 350 for 45 minutes. And that is the breaded ranch chicken. It actually sounds really good. I just want to say I'm sorry if it annoys anybody that I repeat the recipes twice. But I do that in case people need to hear them again if they're writing them down. I just like doing that. So that's what I do. I'm sorry if it's annoying. Um, so we're going to read that again. Breaded ranch chicken. Three-fourths cup of cornflakes crushed. One envelope of ranch salad dressing. Eight boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Three-fourths cup of Parmesan cheese grated. Half a cup of butter and margarine melted. In a shallow bowl. Combine cornflakes, cheese, and salad dressing mix. Dip chicken in butter, then roll in cornflake mixture to coat. Place in a greased 13 by inch dish. Bake uncovered at 350 for 45 minutes. Sounds like a really good recipe. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to read the next one, which is called Cheesy Chicken. Which I gotta find <laughs> where it is, but <clears throat> let's see. Cheesy. Oh, it's called Cheesy Chicken Croissant Dish. That's what it is called. So it's kind of a long one. Looks like a lot of steps, but maybe not. The paragraph just looks long in the directions. Um, and then after this one, we have one more, which this last one, not this one that we're doing next, but the last one on this episode used to be one of my favorite chicken dishes ever. I used to get it in restaurants and I loved it. So, um, but this first one is cheesy chicken croissant dish. Now I couldn't believe that I was reading it because I'm like, this sounds really good with croissants, chicken and croissants. I need to see this recipe and read it for you guys. <laughs> so here I am. So you're going to need, um, one three fourths cup of chicken cubed. One cup of cheddar cheese shredded. One eight ounce can of Pillsbury refrigerated crescent rolls. Half a can of cream of chicken soup. Half a can of mushroom soup. And half a cup of milk. So, um, that already ruins it for me, the mushroom. But that's fine. <clears throat> Might be good to someone else. Preheat oven to 375. Combine chicken and half a cup of cheddar cheese. Separate croissant roll dough into eight triangles. Place about three tablespoons of chicken mixture on wide end of each triangle and roll to opposite point. In medium saucepan, combine soups, milk, and one-fourth cup of cheese. Heat until cheese melts. Pour half of soup mixture into greased 8 or 9 inch square baking dish. 
Reserve many of the s- remaining soup for sauce. I wondered if they were going to do that because you're only using half a can of both. <laughs> so it does say reserve the rest of the soup for a sauce later. Arrange filled crust and rolls over hot soup mixture. Bake at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. During the last 10 minutes, sprinkle with remaining cheese. Serve with remaining sauce poured over top. <clears throat> so the sauce must be just, you combine the rest of the soups in the milk or something. It just says, reserve remaining soup for sauce. For something to dip it in. Yeah, that makes sense, because they're croissant rolls. So then you can dip them in the remaining soup. So that is cheesy chicken croissant dish. Sounds really good. If I just use cream and chicken. (laughs) Not a mushroom person. Um, I will read it again. I know it's long. But that's what I do on the podcast. I read it twice for the listeners. Because you never know if you missed something when you were writing it down. Or if I was talking too fast. So we'll do it again. Cheesy chicken croissant dish. You need one three-fourths cup of chicken cubed, one cup of cheddar cheese shredded, one eight-ounce can of Pillsbury refrigerated crescent rolls, half a can of cream of chicken soup, half a can of cream of mushroom soup, and half a cup of milk. Preheat oven to 375. Combine chicken and half cup of shredded cheese. So just half of the cheese. Separate croissant roll dough into eight triangles. Place about three tablespoons of chicken mixture on wide end of each triangle. And then you roll it to the opposite point of the croissant. In a medium saucepan, combine soups, milk, and one-fourth cup of cheese. Heat until cheese melts. Pour half of soup mixture into greased eight or nine inch square baking dish. Reserve remaining soup for sauce. Arrange filled croissants over hot soup mixture. Bake at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. During the last 10 minutes, you sprinkle with the remaining cheese and serve with remaining sauce poured over the top. So you pour it over the top. (laughs) Okay, so that's that one. Now this next one, which is our last one for this episode, is one of my favorite chicken dishes Depends on where you get it, but I, I just love it, and I order it at certain places that I like it. It's chicken cordon bleu. Love it, because it has the ham and the Swiss cheese on it baked inside. I just love it, and it's just the way some places make it. It's just so good. So we're going to do chicken cordon bleu. This one has a different, like, ingredient to it. I've never seen or heard of chicken cordon bleu having this ingredient so this is interesting but chicken cordon bleu and it starts off with one package of frozen broccoli i've never heard of that because every time i order it from the places i order it from it never comes with broccoli but must just be something for this one one package of stove top stuffing chicken breasts swiss cheese sliced and ham sliced Prepare broccoli and stovetop stuffing, then mix together and set aside. Place chicken breasts in the bottom of a greased 9 by 12 inch baking dish. Top each breast with a slice of Swiss cheese and then a slice of ham. Place stuffing mixture on top and bake 25 minutes in a 350 oven. So, you know, I don't hate broccoli. I really actually like broccoli. I know it's weird for a picky person like me. I don't like mushrooms, but I like broccoli. (laughs) I know. But I think that would be a really good twist to it or a really good different thing that I haven't had with it yet. And it sounds like you just mix the broccoli with the stuffing mix. So that sounds really good, actually. So I'm not opposed to trying this one. Other people in my house wouldn't like it, but I would. (laughs) But it does say just chicken breast because it's probably, you know, you just make how many of a breast you want but if I just wanted to make a breast for myself and have chicken cordon bleu I could that's the that's the magic of this one so one more time chicken cordon bleu and let me know down below in the comments whoever you're watching or listening to this podcast 
I guess you don't watch it. I haven't did a video with it yet. But when you're listening, um, I am kind of trying to work to that sometimes. But wherever you're listening, I would like to know in the comments where you like Chicken Cardon Blue or if you like it with different things in it. <clears throat> I really liked it at some local restaurants. They're not like big restaurants anybody would know. But in my hometown. But I would just like to know if, if you know, where you like it the best or do you even like it or what do you like to put in your chicken cart on blue? Okay, one last time and then we get to end the episode and I will give my email this time because a lot of people have been asking for it and I want to give the email for people to reach out. So, chicken cart on blue, one package of frozen broccoli. One package of stovetop stuffing, chicken breasts, Swiss cheese sliced and ham sliced. Prepare broccoli and stovetop stuffing. Then mix together and set aside. Place chicken breasts in bottom of grease 9 by 12 inch baking dish. Top each breast with a slice of Swiss cheese. Then a slice of ham. Place stuffing mix on top and bake 25 minutes in a 350 oven. So that was the last one. I also would like to share that I have, I haven't shared this yet with the second season listeners. The first season, if you went back and watch or listened to it, not watch, sorry, listened to season one, you will know that I had an email address for people to email their thoughts and opinions, anything they want, question about a recipe. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I'm going to share that with you at the end of this one. It's everyday living, recipes with love, all together. No underscores or anything. It's just all together. Everyday living, recipes with love at gmail.com. It's all lowercase, all together. And you can email in with questions, opinions, suggestions, anything. I love to hear from the listeners. And so... That is it for today, and I will see you guys next time, and we'll be sharing, a little preview, we'll be sharing some desserts next time. Yum yum. <laughs> so they're basically um, cakes, but one is really unique. Don't miss it. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.